So we've learned about ratios that compare two different things. Now we're going to learn about rates. They're a very similar thing. There's just one difference. So a rate is a ratio that compares two different units. So we talked about ratios, right? Blue marbles to green marbles, but they were the same thing. They're both marbles. A rate is a ratio. So same thing. It's comparing two numbers, but they have to be different things. So you might have the train went this many miles and it took this many minutes. You might go to the store and buy a bag of apples and it costs this much money. So you're comparing two different items. So make sure you have your definition there. So in this example, we have two boxes of cereal cost $4. We're gonna find the two units that are being compared. So we go to the store and we can get boxes of cereal, right? So a box of cereal and we're talking about money. So the units being compared are boxes and money. So they're not both marbles, they're not both sugar. They're boxes of cereal and they cost amounts of money. So we're talking about two different things that we are comparing. So that is what a rate is. Let's so make sure you have that part filled out. So now we're gonna go one step farther and we're gonna talk about a unit rate. So again, it's a rate, which is a ratio, but this time the second quantity has to be one. We're comparing how much is one of these, so, right? A unit means one. When we do a unit in math, we do like one chapter. So when we're asking about a unit rate, we want to know how much is one of these? How far did they go in one of these? So some keywords to notice are per unit, how much per unit, how much per one, how much per hour, how much per day. Every time you see per, that equals one. That word per is telling you to find the unit. So even when it doesn't say the number one in there, we need to know, oh, this is per one unit, per one hour, per one day. So let's try out an example here. So we're gonna use those same tables we used before. Oh, I don't know why this is on top of there, but that's okay, we can keep going. So we're using the same table and we're going to set it up here. If two boxes of cereal cost $4, what is the cost per box? Now I know a lot of you can do this in our mind, but we're practicing setting this up so when we get to harder problems, we understand the setup. So how many boxes are we buying? Two. So we're starting with two boxes and that cost $4. And we always want to get these labels. Boxes, cost or money. So the label is not super important what you call it. You could call this cereal. You could call it boxes. You could call this cost. You could call it money, dollars. But it has to have a label so that you know everything that is in that category goes in that same line. So we want to know the cost per box per one box. So I'm looking for the boxes. I want one box. I want one box. We're trying to find the cost. So now we're just going to use that same strategy to transfer this number over here. So how do I get from two to one? Well, we needed to divide by two. So we're going to do the same thing here. That's exactly what we learned before. We do the same thing to keep that balanced. So four divided by two is two. So the unit rate is $2 per box, right? Per one box. So every time we just keep it consistent, where are my boxes? Where's the money? So everything with a box should be in the top. Everything about money should be in the bottom. We don't want to flip flop them on accident because then we would get the wrong answer. So make sure you have that filled out there. And also, oh, will you please add a one right in here, right? Right per one. Every time we see per, we want to put a one to remind us, oh, that's a unit rate. And if you'll just take any, well, my words are hard today, guys. I'm sorry. Will you take five minutes coloring anything important 
the one, the money, the cereal, anything that's going to help you remember what per means for that unit rate.